Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how we can create a site templates and site scripts in SharePoint Online. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center. So friends, on today's video demonstration, uh, we will see how we can create a site templates and site scripts. So basically, we can create a site templates to provide the uh, reusable list themes layout or custom actions so that our users can build a new shape on site with the features they need so let me show you what exactly i'm talking about so if i will open my site which is the name of the site is birthday in the new tab all right so what basically i want if my user wants to apply my organization template so how they can do that so basically what exactly I want to do, I want to create my organization template so that other sites can be created using the same template. If I will click on the gear icon, here I have the option of apply a site template. I will click on it. So basically you get two options from Microsoft. These are some templates which are provided by Microsoft. But uh, from your organization, I want to, you know, build or I would say create my organization template so that user can use that template. To create sites so let me close it and let's see how we can do it all right so we will use the site with the name of birthday for today's demonstration so let me open the powershell to begin with the process okay let's open powershell okay friends so now we are on our powershell and the first command which we will run is to connect to our pnp online All right, now here I will provide the URL of my SPO admin center. So now here I have to provide the credentials. Okay, let's click on okay. Okay, so now we are connected to our PNP online. So now here what you can do, you can also create a site script based on your requirement however i will use an existing site script of a site so for that uh, let me type a command let me show you i will type get dash pnp get dash pnp site script from web dash url now here i will copy the url of my site birthday let me copy it let's go back all right i will give space now I will type dash include okay now I will execute this command and you can see the site script of my site birthday is this you can see all the details over here now friends we will create a variable for our this site so for that I will type a command dollar json all right dash include all Okay, we have executed this command. So friends, now let's see how we can add this PNP site script. So for that, I will type a command add dash PNP dash title. I will give it a name to this particular site script. So I will type a name organization. Then description as well. So let's provide the description as org template dash content dollar json. All right. So here in the output, you can see this is the ID of your site script birthday. This is the title organization version description is org template. You can see we have given the description as org and is site script package. It's set to false. Now we have, you know, added the PNP site script of this site. Now we'll connect to our SPO service. So for that, we'll type a command connect dash SPO service. Here again, I will provide URL of my SPO admin center. All right, let me provide my credentials. All right, friends. So now we are connected to our SPO service. So friends, now we'll type our first command to add a web template. So I will type add dash 
SPO site design dash title title is our organization all right so now to identify which web template we are using so let me open the article of Microsoft so this is the article which we are following if I will scroll down you can see over here the parameters value and the site template type if the site is a team site then the value is 64 team site without group creation disabled is 1 web template for communication site template is 68 and channel site template is 69 so we will use 68 because it's a communication site template so I will go to the PowerShell here I will type 68 I will give space then again dash site scripts again give space now here we will provide this ID so I will copy it paste it dash description org template now I will execute this command all right so you can see it is our ID title organization org template and it is now deployed so for checking it we can just type a command get dash pnp site script so you can see our site script is successfully added now let's go to our SharePoint admin center and let's see how we can create a site using this site script so I will go to SharePoint admin center here I will click on create let me click on communication site I will give it a name org template site let me enter the site owner all right let's finish it okay this is our site let me open it our site is now created so friends if any of the user now will create a site he can you know he will click on browse templates and he he can go to my organization and here he can see the template is there so he will simply click on this site so it will give him like update mates on your site update branding custom themes external sharing settings update the site regional settings so user can click on use template all right so you can see over the message here applying a site template we are updating a site based on a pre-scheduled templates view progress so you can see it's showing applying site templates it's not yet applied so we have to wait for one or two minutes okay so now you can see site template applied refresh the site to see the changes all right so friends now our site template is successfully applied and you can check it if you will click on the gear icon if you will click on site information views template history so you can see applied by Rachit on this date and this is the site if you will click on it so it will show you like a branding is updated custom theme external sharing settings and regional settings as well let me close it so friends that's how you can create a site templates and site script and add your own template for your organization so friends that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.